What's going on Chavez Slovakia? How are you guys doing today? Good? Well, I'm here to ruin that. <laughs> That's right. We're here to check out 10 YouTubers that tragically died. Now, this was a trending topic a couple of months ago. These videos were going around like wildfire. And it was really surprising because I thought I heard a noise back there and like totally freaked me out. Yeah, it's one of those things that it's just not fun to think about, but sometimes a lot of these content creators, you step here and stuff about it and you realize something tragic has really happened to these people. And so it's kind of too interesting to not talk about. So that's what we're here to do right now. So if you want to watch the original video, it's by Top Trending. Uh, if it gets too sad, I'm just going to stop the video anyways. I don't really know how I'm going to take content like this, man. But let's get into it either way. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know what to expect. I'm kind of apprehensive about this, but but let's get into it anyways. Ha. <laughs> huh. Okay. Caleb Logan Bretele was the oldest of the three siblings on the popular YouTube channel Bretele. The family oh, vlog no. style channel has over 2.8 million subscribers. Caleb also ran a gaming channel called Blazin' Outlaws, where he frequently posted about Minecraft. The 13-year-old boy died suddenly in October of 2015 at the family's Maryland home. Although God, his family damn. first thought he had died from natural causes, he actually suffered a rare heart condition that went undetected because he never showed any symptoms. The Bretele oh. family broadcast his memorial service live on Facebook and Periscope, what? giving fans and family one last look at Caleb before being laid to rest. Holy smokes, we started out with the kids. God damn. Talia Castellano was an internet celebrity known for her YouTube channel, Talia Joy 18. On her channel, she featured unique makeup tutorials. She would also vlog about her struggles with neuroblastoma and leukemia. Her battle with cancer Ooh. began when she was diagnosed at the age of seven. Oh, her online God. presence and amazing personality catapulted pulled her into YouTube stardom. In September of 2012, she appeared on the Ellen DeGeneres That's show, cool. where she was made an honorary face of CoverGirl Cosmetics. That is so cool! God damn it, Ellen is so awesome! Unfortunately, she lost her battle with cancer and passed oh. away on July 16th, 2013, one oh. month before her 14th birthday. God, are these all kids? I, I don't know if I can handle a compilation of all kids tragically passing away. Freddie E., whose real name was Frederick Bull, was a charismatic comedian and rapper who ran a channel named Jerk TV. He would often poke fun at all types of social issues or perform skits that were unfiltered and uncensored. His raw sense of humor helped his channel to become a success, garnering millions of views. In January of 2013, the 22-year-old died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Oh right before his God. suicide, he sent a series of tweets that to some sounded like a cry for help. Oh my god. Cruising in the 300 Chrysler, wishing the world could be a little brighter, but all I can seem to find is this lighter. It's all bad, y'all. I love you, Mom. I love you, Dad. I love you, Catherine. God, please forgive me. I'm sorry. Whew. Shit. That is bone chilling. He began tweeting about heartbreak and claiming God was calling him home. People believe that he killed himself over a woman that he was in a relationship with. In one of his last tweets, he stated, At times I feel too different for this planet. Mm. God damn. Greg Plitt was a retired U.S. Army Ranger, fitness model, and oh, reality TV on, star. The 37-year-old also built a moderate fan base on his YouTube channel, where he would post motivational videos meant to inspire a healthy lifestyle through fitness. In January of 2015, he and a small film crew started shooting a promotional fitness video around Burbank's Metrolink train tracks. It is still unclear what the stunt was supposed to be, but it involved Plitt working out in front of the train while on the track. Wait a minute, that's fucking terrible. As the train barreled forward, Plitt misjudged the situation and tripped and fell before he was hit by the train. What? That seems so fucking unnecessary, dude. His friends called it a tragic accident and a horrible mistake. Plitt's girlfriend, Christina Stejskal, said that as always, he was just trying to get the best shot when he was hit. Oh my god. So what, is this like leaning in while the train was coming or something? Trying to get the train rushing past or something? 
It reminds me of those videos that I saw these dudes playing by the train track. The game is like lay down underneath the train as the train like goes over top of you. Ah, just unnecessary, man. Oh, Christina Grimmie. Jesus. Christina Grimmie, aka Zelda Love 64, this was a YouTube chick. sensation with over 3.5 million subscribers. This, this poor girl. Oh my God, this is so sad. At the time of her death, Grimmie began posting videos to her YouTube channel in 2009 at age 15. In 2014, she finished in third place on the NBC singing competition The Voice. The 22 year old was gunned down after a concert. While she conducted yeah. a fan autograph signing, a man named Kevin James Lobel walked up and shot her multiple multiple times at point-blank range. Grimmy's brother Mark ran and tackled the assailant, but the 27-year-old obsessed fan shot himself before police arrived. God, God damn it. Her brother's a real one for that man, but God damn. Ah, that shit is just so recent. That's so fucking sad. Grimmy was taken to a hospital, where she later died from her injuries, in the early hours of June 11, 2016. Uh. Her coach on The Voice, Adam Levine, offered to pay for the funeral, and wrote that he and his wife were absolutely devastated and heartbroken. Yeah, that shit is just too much, man. That was fucking crazy, dude. God Damn. Daniel Kyer was one third of the comedy troupe Sindago that often collaborated with famous YouTube star Markiplier. The group's YouTube page gained 327,000 subscribers and over 27 million views. They that posted awesome. a variety of sketch comedy videos, skits, and challenges. Daniel, a South Carolina native, had recently moved to Los Angeles to pursue his career. His father, excited about his son's new life, texted him, Are you happy? He said that he never got a response. Dan Oh. Daniel attempted suicide on September 16th, oh, come on. 2015, after he was rushed to an intensive care unit. Doctors confirmed that Daniel was not going to survive and had irreversible brain damage. He died oh. in the hospital two days later after being so taken sad. off of life support. God damn it, that is so fucking sad, man. Dude, if you guys are struggling with anything, dude, just reach out to somebody. And if that person don't help, reach out to somebody else, man. I was like, oh, I'll tell you, dude, because I, I get this, these messages every once in a while. You know, I'll get back to the video in just a second, but this is just serious for me, man. Like, I get this message every once in a while. People, you know, hey, I came to your channel. It was so positive. You helped me through a lot of stuff. And I'm like, dude, that's what that's all for, man, because life can be stressful and crazy sometimes. And, like, don't just make these decisions so young, dude. Life is, these dudes on this on this list are so young. Like, my grandparents are in their, like, 70s, bro. Like, 70s, 80s. Like, you got a lot of life left, dude. Just just live, live, just, just stick it out, dude. It'll be all right. Just stick it out, man. Because this is sad, dude. This is so sad. Mick Toonsmith Friedman was a talented cartoonist and animator, best known for his YouTube series Ultimate Cartoon Fighting. His most popular video... Oh my god, I just saw this video like two days ago. Video ...is an animated parody deathmatch between SpongeBob SquarePants and the characters of Adventure Time. With I just saw this video like two days ago. I'm so... With over 234 million views on YouTube, his future was bright and full of promise. Oh Tragically, Mick passed away in July of 2014 after a long battle with diabetes. In January, his friends accessed oh no! his account to upload a video celebrating his achievement of gaining 300,000 subscribers, even after his death. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Brian Ricard, who went by his online persona Yotzleya, was a gamer most known for his Call of Duty and Borderlands 2 Let's Plays. Ricard led a very successful life, but it was all cut short in one night. The Indiana native was out drinking with two of his friends in October of 2013. They piled inside of his truck and tried to beat a train by crossing over the tracks. The vehicle what? was struck by the train and the passengers were ejected, killing them instantly. Police oh found God. various open... Oh my Jesus. Alcoholic containers among the wreckage, and also noted that no one was wearing a seatbelt. Brian left behind his two sons, Matthew and oh, Dawson. Oh no. Whew! This is a tough one, y'all. Oh, this is a tough one. 
Colin Wickoff, known on the internet as Kitty0706, was a Gary's Mod animator who gained much online notoriety for his comedic videos featuring characters from the first-person shooter game Team Fortress 2. His most right. popular video, titled Team Fabulous 2, featured the characters as they battled each other on a Mario Kart racetrack. On January 25, 2015, the 20-year-old died due to complications from an ongoing two-year battle with leukemia, a talented oh, no. individual whose light was snuffed out way too soon. Oh. oh, this is such a hard video. Oh, this is so hard for me. Tamisha Ridge ran a popular channel called Misha TV. The 31-year-old uploaded hundreds of videos showing do-it-yourself fashion designs. Right? Tamisha was murdered in her home by her ex-boyfriend, Dameshlo Green. The perpetrator, what? who had a history of domestic violence, entered the room where she slept and shot her. Her three oh children, ages 2, 10, and she 12, were kids. asleep upstairs. She has kids. ...in the home when the shooting occurred. Tamisha's mother said in an interview, She was my only daughter, and she was beautiful. Her last Instagram post urged her followers to not forget to pray. Oh, man. Oh, wow. I... Uh, uh, the video's by Top Trending, and go check, check them out, man. That was a tough video for me to watch, man. And I just reiterate, dude, like... I hear every day, dude, I get all those DMs. I try to reply to most of them, you know what I mean? I try to reach out, and it's, it's hard. It's definitely difficult, like, trying to talk to everybody who sends messages, you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, dude, just keep your head up, dude, and, and don't let these little moments in life, you know, where you're down or you're thinking about something crazy, like, don't let it take hold of you. Just make sure you reach out and stay as positive as, as possible, man, because this is just a real serious thing, dude. It, just hear all these young people on this list is like, you know, sometimes tragedies happen, you know what I mean? Sometimes, you know, freak accidents happen, you know, but just be careful, man. Just be careful and, and yeah, god damn. I'll talk to you guys later, man. Thank you guys for rolling through. The support has been crazy. The love has been crazy. I appreciate it all, man, and I'll see you guys later. For everybody new, welcome to Chavez Slovakia, all right? Peace out.